Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another verse video. It has been quite a while since we've done one of these sort of videos, but I'm back today with another verse video. We're going to be doing two champs verse five silvers today. I've only done this once before, and a lot of you guys wanted me to redo it as some of the silvers may or may not have actually been silver. But this time, I've ensured everybody is their actual rank. We've got our two champs here, Chris, number 45 champ currently for almost a 4.0 ranked win loss 1.6 kd looking over at our other champ brio actually an insane player he's really trying to get into youtube right now so it'd mean a lot to me if you guys were to head to the description right now check out brio's youtube channel this guy's absolutely insane i've known him for years he's very 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 good at the game his aim is incredible be sure to check him out as well as chris as well as chris check out both their socials the links down below in the description we're going to be starting here on coastline some quick rules there are no shields allowed operator bands are in here um it's just three default ranked rules and we're going to be doing a best of three on coastline clubhouse and oregon so let's get straight into round number one here on coastline all right here we are with round number one it looks like dapper is amaro he might go straight in through this white window it looks certainly possible a c4 spawn peak gonna come out from chris gonna do a lot of damage to the dokubi player here dapper gonna amaro straight into top white now looking to push in through luggage right now brio seems to be completely unaware of this he's playing straight inside of the billers room this could be the first engagement between dapper and the two champ players here and c repelled as thermite on the hookah window right now and there's dapper coming into sight right now and he's gonna get both kills like i told you dapper amaru rushing into the top white window gonna just crouch walk in from luggage straight into billards and pick up two easy frags round number one gonna go to the silver players today's video is sponsored by the online vehicle combat game cross out Crossout is an online vehicle shooter where you create your own unique vehicles from scratch and then battle them in fast-paced PvP matches or co-op PvE campaigns. Crossout features hundreds of parts, armor plating, different forms of movement, and a huge assortment of weapons from traditional cannons to laser guns and guided rockets. I love the creative freedom that Crossout offers. You can take virtually any creation in matches from carefully crafted Leviathan machines to a stick with a spike on the end of it. I also love that the game offers dynamic vehicle damage models, allowing you to immerse yourself so much easier. On top of all of that, Crossout is extremely easy to get into. You can craft a new vehicle from scratch in minutes with the intuitive in-game editor. Seamlessly take it out for a quick test drive or head straight into battle. So play now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, or the previous generation consoles. When you sign up with my link in the description, you're going to get a free bonus pack, including special parks and a unique paint. So make sure you guys check out the link down below in the description. And thank you so much to Cross Out for sponsoring today's video. Yo, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, consider subscribing, like the video. It would mean a lot to me. These do take quite a bit of time to set up to get all of these people together. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on those notifications. I do post daily here on the channel. Another thing to note, Feel free to check out G Fuel with the link down below in the description. That's how I'm always hitting these nasty clips. Skip your warm out. Skip your warm up. Check out G Fuel with the link in the description. Use code SHOCK. Get 30% off your order. Let's hop straight into round number two here. All right. So it looks like we're going to see an interesting spawn kill coming out from Brios here. We'll see if this works out. The SMG 11 spawn kill. So far, it looks like no one's really going to spawn ruin. So the attackers are going to be saved dapper though is actually going to get taken out by brios he says you know what for what you did last round you need to be taken out and that's going to be the smg 11 taking out cali all the way in ruins right now but we're going to have ying with the candelas i don't even know where he threw those but they're going to be popping off that's some utility gone guys are going to put down his claymore to watch out for the run out but brios picking up his second kill on the rounds right now chris doing his best to hold down sight right now while brios heads for a flank potentially trying to kill zofia and he's going to do so that's nc being taken out there goes your zofia player it's going to be all up to keza and ying i'm not even sure how to say this guy's name a run out from VIP from Brios is going to do a little bit of damage onto Keza, but not enough to really have any sort of significant impact. Chris is going to rotate over to the Billard's window here. He's going to be trying to desperately get that angle onto the Ying, who's just sitting right next to the door. He's going to back up, and Chris 
Gonna be able to get that kill. Perfectly timed impact grenade and shots coming out from him. Keza, the last remaining for the silver team. And this is more how I expected this game to go. These two champ players just absolutely destroying in the gunfights. And a run out all the way outside from Chris is gonna leave Brios on site all by himself. But fortunately, he's got those smoke grenades to deny any sort of a push. Keza still outside on the hookah balcony. Not really sure where to push in right now. Chris is going to rotate all the way back up now, and they are just desperate to get this kill, but Keza does not want to give it to him. Minute 15 seconds left, and it looks like he's just going to bait. Default cams are still up. Not a good start from the silver players whatsoever. Definitely want to make sure one of the first things you do is take out those cameras and it looks like chris just did the run out again but brio still has another smoke grenade in his pocket chris could just keep running out like this and it looks like he's going to he's going for another one and he's gonna miss the shots but Kreza, keza getting to around 50 hp now brio still one more smoke he's gonna toss that out and that's gonna force keza to back up now but here comes chris he's going for attempt number three he's gonna swing the window and keza is right here on it will he be able to get the kill he's gonna swing and there it is the headshot from chris another flawless round or I guess the first flawless round for the champ players. Round number two, gonna go to our two champs. I also wanted to mention, if you guys have any sort of videos you'd like to see me make on this channel, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Your guys' like, suggestions really does help out quite a bit. I've made some of my best videos on this channel have been uh, viewer submitted suggestions in the comments. So if you guys are interested in seeing me do a specific challenge, you want me to record a specific video, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And another best way to reach me, probably the best way to reach me, if you guys are trying to communicate with me, would be through Discord. So feel free to join my Discord server with the link down below in the description. It's completely free for both PC and console players. No catch, no nothing. You can hop in there. There's LFG chats. You can look for a team to play with. You can be a part of these videos, etc. So make sure you guys check that out. With that being said, though, round number three is underway here. And it looks like most of the attackers are going to be trying to do some form of a kitchen push. Here comes Chris. He's going to be trying to swing that kitchen window. But little does he know, all four of the attackers are out here. I don't know where the fifth guy is, but four of them are outside the kitchen window right now. It looks like they're going to start rotating off and trying to push above, which is probably the smart thing to do. We do see NC and B0 uh, on the sledge and buck respectively. So they're going to be able to play some vertical so long as no one is holding it, which no one is. They're going to have to be careful of Brio who's holding inside of Sunrise though, as if NC is going to want to walk down those cool vibe stairs, he's going to have to contest Brio first. Chris getting pushed out of sight now from that vertical play. He says, you know what? Before this gets any worse, I'm going to go up and flank. And so is Brio. They're both flanking from both positions right now. They're actually hitting a pincer maneuver. This this might work very, very well. It doesn't seem like anyone's really ready for it. And no, they were not. Brio able to get two free kills on the buck and sledge from above. But this is bad because now no one is on site. They could use these vertical holes to watch above though. So it looks like the attacker's plan has just completely fallen on their head dapper though he's the only reason the silvers have even a single round in this game and it looks like he's in a position to possibly secure another round for the silver players he's gonna be alt walking into the site right now and it looks like brios has no idea and chris is all the way above this could be disaster for brios who's just close left but no Dapper didn't swing in time, and Brios is going to be able to get that kill, and the knock is going to get one-tapped. Keza going to be taken out. Oh my god, a third kill from, from Brios. A flawless round. That This is why you guys need to subscribe to Brios with the links in the description, man. Good lord. All right, taking a look at the scoreboard here. Brios leading the champ team 8-1 currently off that very impressive ace we saw him hit on the previous round. Chris, close behind, 3-1. Remember, the kill difference between these two players is going to be pretty substantial sometimes just because there's only two of them and five of the other team. So, you know, the kills are going to be kind of spread a little bit weird. With that being said, though, let's see if they're going to bring it to match point. It is now Brios and Chris's first time playing on attack in this matchup. So we'll see if maybe attack is going to be their downfall. I wouldn't suspect that it's going to be, but check out the amount of spawn peaks coming out from the defenders i know the champs definitely have better aim but there's so many angles they're gonna have to clear are they gonna be able to do it so far they are but dapper in a very interesting position i am interested to see how this goes for him but brio's gonna repel on the hookah window and this might actually be a death for dapper depending on what brio's decides to do here and it looks like that's gonna be a kill onto the 
Warden, and little does Brio know, but he definitely could have killed Dapper, who just picked up a kill onto Chris. So, Brios is going to have to ace for a second time in a row if he wants to win this. And he's going to pick up his second kill on the round. So, he's already on pace to do so. Quick peeking in. Trying to get any sort of kills that he can. Thunderbird is trying to peek onto his position right now. That's going to be Keza. But no shots are going to land just yet. Brios is about 50 HP. And the defense does have those Thunderbirds. So, he is in quite a disadvantage right now to say the least. The Doku be call going to come out. The two minute mark just ticked down and uh, so far not too much progress has been made, but it looks like Brios is going to rotate over maybe towards white. I'm not really sure what he wants to do yet. All right, a drone going to come out from Brios here. He is on the default cam though, so he's going to have to take that out really quickly. A minute and 25 seconds. Brio has plenty of time here. He got two picks pretty early and now all he needs to do is sit and wait. At least that's what you would expect you would need to do is sit and wait for people to peek him. Just like that. NC going to get impatient and peek him. And that's exactly what Brios is doing here. And exactly why I said he just needs to wait a second. He has plenty of time. He has now three picks on the board with a minute left. He has a little bit of utility left. All he's got to do is hold on for a second and hope that somebody gets impatient and swings him. Which is exactly what we've seen happen so far. Brio's going to rotate back up to the hookah balcony and an incredible one tap onto, I believe, I'm not even sure who that was, but that's going to be someone getting taken out behind the B-bomb. And it looks like, oh no, Brio's going to choke the double ace on the last kill. How unfortunate for him. That's going to be the second round for the silver players being picked up though. And by Keza of all people, taking another look at the scoreboard, Dapper leading his team still three and three. And the only other person on the silver team to have a kill is Keza, who just secured that round against Brio here. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to pick up that double ace, but more luck this round. All right, okay. here we go with round number five and an interesting operator choice coming out from Brio and Chris. They're going to be rocking the Blackbeard and Amaro, respectively. I'm interested to see where Chris decides to go in from. It looks like he might be trying to set up for a kitchen window take which could work for him we do see capkin inside behind the bomb and we also see lesion keza behind the uh a bomb here i believe it is but we'll see if this works out for chris or not so far nothing's really happened so far brio trying to take out this echo drone but he's gonna get taken out himself dapper the goat for the silver team picking up his fourth kill on the game that's gonna be brio's taken out Chris gonna have to pick up some more frags for himself here. Brios has left him in the dust right now in terms of frags. So Chris is gonna have to step it up here. And that is exactly what he's gonna do with two big frags on a dapper and NC. That's gonna be your rook and cap getting taken out. You know, you still have B0 trying to peek from the kitchen door. And you also have the Echo Drone. So this is going to be fairly difficult for Chris to push. I don't know if big window or kitchen window is the play, which is exactly why we see him rotating off and trying to push over by uh, service now. Possible drone hill kill going to come out. Oh, little does Chris know there's someone right there, but just on the other side of the shield. Oh, shots are going to come off. Only a little bit of damage onto the echo, though. Not enough to kill him. And wow. This is a smart play coming out from Chris. Amaroing into the big window and trying to hit fire him through the floor. That was very, very smart. Unfortunately for him, not going to secure the kill. But a minute and 20 seconds left, he's got plenty of time to bring this round back. But he's going to have to be careful as it looks like Chris is trying to push cool vibes. But B0 is holding cool vibe stairs from Sunrise right now. And it looks like Echo might be close behind to help him. Here comes the walk down from Chris. He suspects that someone's inside of Sunrise, and he was correct, and that's going to be the kill on to B0. That's the dock getting taken out. Keza all the way back in service, trying to hold that long angle onto the kitchen door. We're going to see Echo taking a lot more damage. He's only about one shot now. One more bullet's going to take him out. He's head glitching behind the bomb. Who's going to win this fight? It's going to be Chris. He's looking to get an ace of his own. Hopping into the kitchen bar right now. Shot's going out, but it's going to miss. Keza desperately trying to win this round for his team. They do not want the chance to go on to match point. The swings are coming out, but no shots are going to hit from either player just yet. Chris, time is against him here. Keza definitely has the advantage in terms of time. Chris has to find a way to get this bomb down or try to get the kill here. A fake out is going to happen. Some impact grenade is going to come out from Keza and a swing. But he's not going to see anything just yet. Chris playing very patient. 15 seconds left though. He doesn't have much more time to play patient. But it won't matter because Keza got too overly aggressive. And an ace 
for Chris, that's now two aces we've seen in this game alone. Well played to Chris, and that's going to be match point for the champs. Interesting site setup coming out from the silver players here. We're actually going to see the entire wall in VIP to Penthouse completely opened up here. We'll see how the champs deal with this. To be honest, I don't feel like it's going to be much of a problem. Chris is going to be just Ash rushing in, and we actually see B <coughs> B0, excuse me, AFK right here. But how does Chris know? How does Chris know? Did he have a drone from Brio? He did. Brio droned him in. The drone work from the two champ players. Clearly, just working over the roam game from the silvers here. Dapper trying to shoot some fire out into this hallway to stop Chris from rushing, but he's going to push straight into Billards instead. Forget pushing VIP. Shot's going to come out through the wall, though, and Dapper looks like he's going to hit one shot onto Chris, which is going to do about half of his HP. You got to remember how much damage this LMG does. It is no joke getting shot by it. More wall banks coming out, but unfortunately for Chris, they are not going to land. Brio is going to be walking in through a uh, security room right now. And actually, NC is going to pick up the first kill of the round onto Chris. So there goes the Ash player. Brio is going to have to hit another ace. Or actually, only a 4k if he wants to win this. Castle is trying to open up the wall here. But Brio is going to punish him for that. And it looks like he's going to be trying to punish Smoke for it as well. NC going to be trying to rotate in through the 90 hallway here, but Brios is ready for it. Who's going to get this kill here? A minute and 30 left. Flashbangs are going to come out from Brios, and here comes the swing now. Shots coming out through the wall from Keza, but nothing's going to land quite yet. Dapper trying to peek out all the way into luggage is going to get torn apart. Brios with a headshot onto him, and here comes the peek from Rook. Is NC going to be able to hit this shot? So far, no. He's going to rotate into Billards, and I'm honestly not sure if Brios even knows this. Keza trying to hold these head holes, but Brios once again punishing him for it. NC on the flank, but he's so loud. It's Rook. He's in a full sprint, and Brios surely going to hear that. His headphones definitely good enough to hear that sound. And the 4K for Brios, that's going to be the clutch for him, and that's going to be a 4-2 victory over the Silver players here on Coastline. We're going to go to our next map, Clubhouse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on map number two, Clubhouse. Are the Silvers going to be able to win this game out and bring us to map number three? Honestly, I'm not sure. We did decide to switch up the servers. That way, everyone has some better ping. I accidentally hosted the server's first map on Central, so we're back on East. So hopefully, the ping's a little bit more normal, as well as the two champ players are going to be starting on attack instead of defense this game. And you guys all know, uh, Club is kind of a defender side of map. So the Silvers definitely have pretty hefty advantage here so we'll see if the two champs are able to clutch out once again and remember this is a best of three so if the two champs win here it is ggs it is done all right round number one here brios is actually on the ying this is interesting i'm curious to see what he plans to use these candelas for dapper using my own spawn peak against the champ players surely that would not have worked So it looks like Chris is going to be trying to push possibly through luggage, or uh, I apologize, I'm still on coastline, in through Laji, and there's actually going to be someone playing inside of Master, that's going to be Keza, so Chris is going to have to contest with Keza if he's going to want to take this room here. Here come the Candelas from Brios, who's just hopped straight into sight, oh no, a trade! Brio going to be able to take out Dapper, but B0 able to refrag instantly. And Chris with another kill onto Keza. That's going to be the Mozzie being taken out. But you do have NC who's sitting right on the door between Khan and Master. Chris going to drone out though. And surely he's going to be able to see that and prepare for it. B0 holding actually a pretty good angle onto this window. Don't quick peek like this though. This is, I'm not sure what's going on here. NC going to try to push into Master and he's going to be shut down for it. And it looks like... We might see Warden trying to do the same thing. And surely he has realized at this point that this is not a good idea. A lot of damage onto Chris. He's only about 1 HP. Somehow Chris is able to get that gunfight with the pistol of all things as well. And here come the pre-fires. Uh, interesting reinforcements top red. But B0 is doing his damnedest to be able to win this round. Pre-fires are coming out. Really all he has to do is hit one shot and they win this round. Wallbang's coming out from B0, but they're going to miss. And that allowed Chris to walk straight into the site now. And wow, I cannot believe Chris is dodging these bullets. Prone to shoot the drone hole. Oh, Chris doing so much damage on the B0. But oh my god, the flick wallbang from B0 is going to take Chris out. What an interesting first round.
Dapper goes ace question mark in the comments and B0 got two kills. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Is did B0 get the ace because he got the two kills or is an ace classified as five? Which is it? Is an ace when you kill the whole team or is it when you kill all five? Let me know down in the comments. Debate there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round number two is about to start here. And we have quite the interesting setup coming out from our silver players. We're going to see Dapper playing above, above kitchen right now. Keza is trying to do a spawn peek onto construction. And looks like the rest of us are on site. Chris on that Habana, knowing that they're going to go downstairs, picking that up to try to open up the hatches. But some of them are actually soft right now. And Brios might be able to nade those. But looks like Chris. Probably, honestly, smartly going to use his Savannah pellets instead. And a quick drop is going to happen here. Who's going to get the kills? No one's looking deep blue. No one is looking deep blue. And there's someone blue. There is someone blue. There we go. That's going to be the warden being taken out now. B0 trying to get another kill through the wall here. Is he going to be able to do it? Not through the wall, no. But he does pick up another kill onto Chris. B0, the GOAT of Clubhouse for the silver team here. 0-2 for the silvers. Or for the chance, I apologize. Man, put your guys' predictions down in the comments right now. No cheating. Right now, put your guys' predictions down in the comments and timestamp this in the video to prove you're not cheating. Because I'm really interested to see who you guys think is going to win. After the first game, I was totally set on the champs just taking this easy. But they're 0-2 at the start of Clubhouse on map number 2. So let me know what you guys think. Timestamp this right now in the video. Let me know, are the champs going to win? Are Brios and Chris going to be able to clutch this out? Or are the five silvers going to be just too overwhelming on the defended sided map of Clubhouse? Let me know down in the comments. I'm actually curious. All right. So it looks like the silvers have actually opted to go to gym this round. And I'm interested to see how the champs are going to handle this. So far, Brio, he picked up that ace to try to get the wall open jacuzzi. But unfortunately for him, they are going to be running a mute. Now, it looks like Chris is going to rotate over and try to nade this off. There's not going to be any ADSs, so he's going to be able to nade that off with ease. Now, Jacuzzi Breach is going to be opened. And looks like Chris might try to play that here for a second. Interesting setup we have uh, inside a bathroom. Nothing is reinforced. There's no rotate hole. Um, yo, Kip, your sense is really fast, by the way, bro. I'm not sure what your DPI is, but when you watch this video back, lower your DPI to 400 or 800, bro. I'm doing you a favor and you don't know it. Dapper trying to get an angle onto Chris right now, but these zombies are doing a pretty good job of actually stopping anybody from getting an angle. Uh, but Chris going to find a way to do so anyways, and that's going to be Dapper getting punished for trying to peek the main stairs. And well, there's NC getting punished for the exact same thing. People just don't learn from their teammates' mistakes. And I'm a little bit worried for Mute right now, who's just sitting on a soft wall. Chris, somehow able to get a third kill now. And it wasn't even on the Mute, who's still just sitting on a soft wall. This is a free kill for Chris. The second he knows that someone's on that wall right there, he's in a wall bang. Ooh, it's not going to happen. I guess Mute never made enough noise for Brio or, uh, Chris to hear it. So he's going to get taken out. But Brios is in sight right now. And wow, here comes the flank on the bathroom. And easy clutch for Brios. Two to one now. Don't be changing your predictions. All right, don't be cheating. You can't be editing your predictions now. Interesting spawn kill coming out from Chris. Not going to get anything just yet, though. Brios going to be playing inside of Garage. Send up those frost mats to stop any sort of a push up through the raptor stairs but dapper a quick rush with amaru going to be pushing in through Lodgy right now he's going in loud as well but it looks like the defenders are probably a little bit too far away to really hear that rios opening up a melee hole to look into con and it looks like dapper actually shot open a hole into that lodge wall so that is going to alert the two champs to his position now taking a look at the other silvers looks like uh, zero is trying to get some cams inside maybe try to take um out some utility. Chris, though, finally going to get that kill onto Dapper. Dapper just went in a little bit too loud, I think, and got punished for it. Keza opening up that single wall inside of Khan, trying to drop in through Lodgy and support his teammate who died. Brio, though, going to pick up another kill onto B0. So there goes your Iana player. NC is shooting at his teammate in Lodgy right now. I'm not sure what specifically is happening. Both of our champ players just holding. Very passive angles inside of sight right now. It looks like Zero is going to repel up straight to the CCTV window. And this could be a kill for Chris, who's playing on the server rack in CC. 
Rio's trying to stop them from pushing it through Khan. That Khan wall is soft, which is giving them some somewhat of a headache for sure. Zero peeking on the CC window now. And I was about to say, will Chris be able to get the kill? But he won't because he's going to get taken out by NC, who has the DMR all the way on this con wall. But Brio's trying to clutch this round out. He's going to be moving in the lion scan. He doesn't care if they know where he's at. He's saying, peek me. I'm going to win these gunfights. And that's exactly what he's aiming to do here. He's about to pick up the first kill onto the lion. But unfortunately, he's going to leave NC on just one HP walking into sight now. Surely a free kill for Brio's. He's going for the second now onto that onto that ace of Keza. He's going to get it. He's looking for the third now on the CC window and he's going to get that as well. Brio's clutch after clutch. Oh my goodness. Does it get much better than this, ladies and gentlemen? Bro, see, NC says in the chat, how is anyone that good? It's because you just got to use code shock, bro. All right, round number five is about to start, and we see Chris upstairs trying to set up some spawn peaks here. Brio going to be trying to hold down sight on his own, but he does have these mirror windows to help him out. Now, it looks like these silver players are kind of all over the place. No Habana. So if Chris went up and reinforced all the hatches, which I'm sure he did, they're not going to be able to open up uh, very many things with just the ace. Now, with that being said, Chris already starting the round off with a kill. Oh my god, almost getting two. Dapper whiffing a little bit, but finally able to secure the kill onto Chris. So, will Brios be able to 1v4 clutch? Dapper is probably around two or three shot, but will it be enough for him to clutch it out? He does have the two mirror windows plus the C4 to help him out. And it looks like most of the silvers are kind of lost. They're above their third floor. Not really sure what's going on. Keza is going to be solo pushing, though, which is a great opportunity for uh, Brios to pick up a solo frag. And it looks like Capitao is also solo. This could be another great opportunity to get a, a solo frag as well. So it looks like the attack has finally realized that the defenders are downstairs and Brios is finally going to get that one tap onto Capitao in dirt. But unfortunately for him, he just didn't hear Dapper push into blue over that ace that you just saw on the hatch. It was just too loud. He didn't hear it. Walked in, took him out. Match point. The Silvers have match point. If you guys commented down below saying that the Silvers are going to win, you're looking pretty good right now. But don't change your don't change your results. All right. Don't change your post. We got to wait at least one more round to see what's going to happen here. A spawn kill from Chris is going to take out Keza. That's an easy kill for him. Brio's trying to follow it up with another spawn kill here. But unfortunately for him, no one is going to be there. Dapper in the building so quickly once again. But it looks like Chris knows exactly where he's at and is going to take him out swiftly. Now, Capital trying to push in through blue here. Chris taking a little bit of damage. Not even really sure from who. Claymores are going down, and it looks like we might see Capitao try to take sight swiftly here. And this, honestly, is the play for the attack, because we see Chris all the way in main lobby, and Brios inside a bathroom right now. This could be an easy push for the attack. I'm not really sure what Capitao is doing specifically, but he does have the sight whether he knows it or not. If the rest of the attack can push down into sight, they'll be in a great position here. NC, for some reason, holding upstairs inside a master. I'm not really sure what's going on here. B0 trying to drone in to see if it's clear to hop in still. I believe they don't have the bomb, which is actually why the two champs are holding above. I guess I missed that. A good kill for Chris, though. That's going to take out your... Uh, who was that? Capital player. I thought it was zero. Chris with another big kill, though. That's going to be your Amaro player. Brio trying to get the last kill here of NC, who was all the way upstairs. He's now crouching down through main stairs, but both of our champs are nowhere near him. And see, potentially trying to go for that diffuser or maybe flank Brios. But Brios is going to head straight back down to the site. The champs got their kills. All they want to do now is secure that OT and win this game. So they're going to play more passive on site. NC still trying to secure the diffuser upstairs. He's not really sure where these attackers or the defenders could have gone. Minute and 15 seconds left, though. He doesn't have too much time to sit here and decide, especially with Chris and Brios. Now getting impatient, and they are on the rise up the main stairs here. And it looks like Chris is out for blood. He's going to do a lot of damage onto NC. The Deagle is coming out. Who's going to get the kill? It's going to be NC. That's Chris going down. Things are getting a little bit scary now. It is match point. Don't remember. Don't forget. But Brios clutches it out and saves him and Chris from losing map number two. Nice shots by Brios. Dapper says in the chat that... We are not ready for this one. So first thing we should do is spectate Dapper and see exactly what he's going to do. This is OT, by the way. Looks like Brios is... 
going for some Z-Pings. I'm interested to see what Dapper is going to do. It looks like he's going to go straight in through the CCTV window. He, has, he actually has to go up there. You can't get it from down here, as far as I know. You actually have to rappel up and then do it. He is struggling. Yeah, this is, this is kind of annoying, isn't it? Uh, with that being said, though, it looks like B0 has opened up the main breach. So that's going to help Dapper... Uh, in his inevitable rush here. But is Chris going to be able to take him out? I'm not really sure. That's going to be a lot of damage. Actually, no damage onto um, the Ying. I'm not even sure how, but Dapper is in sight, and he's going to get that. Wow, Dapper with both kills onto the champ players. He amarued in and then just got two kills. That is incredible. Well played by Dapper. The GOAT for the silver team across both maps so far, for sure. It is once again match point for the silver players. I, I don't know, man. This is such a close game. This is so much closer than last game, I feel like. I don't know. This I, I honestly have no idea who's going to win here. I feel like it should be the champs. I feel like they should clutch it out. But if Dapper or someone else keeps doing like random plays like that, that the champs just completely don't expect, I don't know. We could have a we could have an Oregon game on our hands. We could have a map three. All right, this is potentially the last round of Clubhouse here. We're going to see if these champs can just lock it out for us. Dapper playing an interesting mirror setup on the CCTV wall. Now, Brios is ace, so they might actually try pushing for that. That, or they're going to try to push in through Khan, which seems a little bit more likely, considering that Kriz is just outside of the single wall Khan, and Brios is just above Master. But we'll see what they end up trying to do here. Dapper uh, looks like he's going to be trying to make some rotates between, between sites, hopefully, maybe. Oh my goodness. He's just shooting everything. All right. So, some holes between sight at the very least. Chris walking in, trying to get some frags here, but not going to hit just yet. But NC, he hops out the window and gets a free kill onto Brio. So, it's Chris in a 1v5 to clutch out this round. Two minutes and 10 seconds left, but it's match point. He has to win this, or we're going to map number three. Dapper is going to get down from that C4, but surely Chris not really going to be able to do much about it. Here come the runouts. That's going to be two kills for Chris. That is a great start to this 1v5 for him. Still, in 20 seconds, he's already picked up two kills. He has so much time. A minute and 45 on the clock. He has plenty of time to do whatever he needs to do here. No C4 coming out from the cave, so that's good, but he's going to have to worry about one on the Warden. Chris now back inside of Khan. Z-Pink coming out from Brios to let him know, hey, Kip is prone underneath the table. That's going to be a free kill for Chris. And now it looks like there's another behind the A-bomb. This could be an easy kill for Chris as well, depending on how he plays this. B-0 holding all the way inside of Garage Rafters. Trying to hold this default angle to stop Chris from walking in. Also trying to hold that CCTV window. It is pretty smart. Come on, Chris. There we go. Finally able to shoot out that beeper. Here comes the pre-fire. That's going to be... Oh, no! Chris taking out Keza, but that's going to be uh, B0 taking Chris out. That's GG. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a map number three on our hands, and we're going to be going to Oregon. And if you guys commented down below saying the Silvers were going to take map number two, congratulations to you. Let me know. Timestamp this once again, and let me know your predictions for the final map, map number three. Are the champs going to win or are the servers going to win? Who's going to take it all? Let me know down in the comments and let's get straight into round number three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our third and final map is about to be underway here. We're going to be on Oregon like I had just previously mentioned. Our two champ players are once again going to be on attack um, because why not? Just a little reminder once again, if you guys have made it this far into the video, clearly you guys have been enjoying yourself. So consider subscribing, like the video, turn notifications on, comment down below, helps out the YouTube algorithm, would mean a whole lot to me. And remember, check out G Fuel, the links are down below in the description. Use code SHOCK, get 30% off your order. Can't go wrong there. Interesting bans coming out from the champ team. It looks like they're going to ban Amaru, which actually does make sense as Dapper was kind of smoking them on Maru somehow. A glass ban going to come out from the silver players. Not really sure what they're aiming to do with that. Champ's going to take out Mira as well. And it looks like we'll probably have a Valk ban or something for the last one coming out from the silver players here. An alibi. You know, that actually makes sense. Chris has been playing pretty well on alibi. So that's a great target ban. A lot of target bans. That's what you'll see in a lot of these videos. A lot of people will talk about in the comments, well, no way these guys are X rank or Y rank because they banned these operators. But a lot of the time, the operator bans are like to counter someone, like they're counter bans, right? So these bans make sense to me. Let's get straight into round number one here. No more pushing it back. 
All right, so it looks like Chris might be a little bit AFK right now, but not to worry. Brios is still here, and Dapper going with a very interesting spawn peek, and surely that doesn't work out for him, and I think he agrees. So he's going to go ahead and leave. Oh, no, he's not. He just tricked us. He's coming back. He was juking everybody out, and it didn't work out for him. Well, I mean, I, I feel like I kind of predicted that, guys. I feel like I said that wasn't going to work. Regardless, that's going to be the first kill for uh, Brios, or I guess from the champ players onto the silvers. It looks like Chris is back from the bathroom, so that is great. Both of our champ players are now here. It looks like they've got a Malusi they're going to have to worry about. B0 trying to play inside of Trophy right now, halting their progress. Chris back from the bathroom, trying to push in through Master now. He's got to get some frags now to match Brios. Rio's going to decide to rappel up to the roof right now and possibly try to open up this game's window, maybe go big window. Chris still trying to make some progress inside of Trophy slash Master here. They're playing it slow. They've got plenty of time here. Wallbang's coming out from Brios onto the big window, but nothing's going to quite land just yet. Chris struggling to deal with this Malusi right now, as well as, I believe, uh, B0, who's just inside of Attic on a soft wall that's open. Which is very interesting. Oh, it isn't soft. The one wall is soft. The other has head holes in it, which is actually fairly normal. B0 going to get that kill onto Chris, though. Chris actually losing a gunfight to one of the silver players. I don't know if we've seen that happen at all this entire game. But as Chris says in the chat, I guess Rook is just the best. Now, Brios, last one remaining for the champ team. A minute left. His time is dwindling quickly. They don't have very much map control. Uh, really, if anything, he's actually outside. So they've got practically no map control. A little bit of utility left. We'll see if he can make it happen. B0 trying to hold Attic right now on these head holes. Going to be shooting towards Brios here, but nothing going to land just yet. Brios, don't let B0 kill both of you. Not again with this guy. Shots coming out, and Brios is going to be the one to land them. Smoke grenades are coming out from NC, who's playing all the way back by the big window. Keza just playing on this attic rotate, trying to hold those head holes that his teammate just died from. And Mute is breakdancing in games room. Brios, not really sure what he's trying to do. I think he was trying to listen for some audio to get a floor bank kill, but not going to happen for him. He's going to have to worry about NC, who's close to the shotgun, and he's going to be the one to take Brios out. And that's going to be the first round going for the silver players. Hey, listen, if you guys have voted for the silver players in the comments, you guys are looking pretty damn good right now. An interesting pick coming out from Brios. A blitz rush is going to come out from our two champ players here. Chris going to be droning him in. Oh, no. This is not good for the silver players whatsoever. Two kills for Brios already on the blitz. Not even 20 seconds into the round. And Brios and Chris already have control of Bunker. Chris all the way deep in sight. The champs are done fooling around. They are going to win this game now. Or maybe not. Because B0, the Terminator, the champ Terminator with another kill. But Brios, can he get the kill? He's going for it. But Blitz is so slow. The down under the castle. The champ Terminator down. The Jaeger, can he cl clutch it out? Kez is going to win. No. What happened? The champs look so good. What happened? All right, here we are on round number three. Brios is trying to make it out of spawn, but he's being contested by Keza on the Ella right now, trying to halt his push and as well as B0. So a lot of spawn peaks are coming out from our silver players here. Definitely not looking good for the champs whatsoever. 0-2 to the start of the game and on the last map. So they cannot be affording to make any sort of mistakes like this. Two minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. So they've got plenty of time. Chris, tired of waiting. He's going to hop straight in through the white window. And he's going to take above control fairly quickly. Brio's going to be taking things a little bit slower. Droning out. Using that Dokubi call. And it looks like he's going to be trying to push in through meeting split right now. He's going to have to contest B0. Who's just sitting on the left of meeting split though. But Brio's knows this. And here comes possibly... Because... Uh, Keza as well to swing the other side of meeting split. So Brios has his hands full with this meeting split push here. Chris trying to push in possibly through dining. I'm not really sure where he's trying to push in from, but we do see 
Uh, Brio is taking almost all of his HP. He is one HP now. NC going to finish him off, but... Uh, Chris with a refrag immediately onto B0 and a little bit of damage onto NC, who's practically one HP now. So he's gonna be very careful about how aggressive he plays the rest of this round. Chris trying to rotate out. Oh my god, what is the warden doing there? How does that even happen? A big kill for Chris, but Dapper all the way inside of dining as the clash is gonna take him out. Wow. 0 3 for the Silvers. This is the most decisive it's been for the Silvers throughout all three of these games. Very impressive for the Silver players. Looks like they're finally warmed up. Before you guys go, be sure you check out Crossout with the link in the description. Crossout is available on all platforms, and when you use my link, you'll get a free bonus pack, including special parts and unique paint. I wonder, are the champs going to bring this back? Because they're on defense now. And as we know, Oregon is at least a little bit defender side in, especially when you're playing on attack against five defenders and they have all of that utility, mirror windows, Valcams, uh, smoke, mute, etc. All of that utility, Jaeger, that only two people have to be able to clear. It's, it's normally not even physically possible if the silver players play it right, which this game, they have most certainly been playing it right. So will things change here on defense? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I think it might. I think we might see the champs do a little bit of a comeback here. But at the same time, it wouldn't surprise me if Dapper is to repel in some crazy window and kill both of them. So we'll see. All right. Potentially the last round of the video is underway here. Chris and Brios opted to go top floor on the kids dorms site. Dapper and some of the other silver players looking to be trying to take over on a big tower. Now, this could be an attic push for them. They only have the Maverick, and Maverick is here, big tower, with Dapper and the rest of the silver. So, it looks like we'll most certainly be seeing some form of an attic push here. Now, with that being said, we still do see NC pushing all the way in through Armory right now. Possibly trying to take in through Trophy, but he's going to have to contest with Brios. He's just holding that door, as well as Chris, who has all of their attention directly on this one doorway. Dapper watching the flank from third floor right now. You can definitely see the Silvers are a little bit more serious about winning right now. But is it going to work? I don't know. B0 with the first kill of the round onto Chris. It looks like this could be the end of the champs. A grenade going to come out. Damage Brios to about 50 HP. B0 is about 1 HP, but is it going to matter? Like I said, there's so many people for him to kill. Dapper almost getting the Sledgehammer kill. That would have been the craziest thing to ever happen in a verse video. The swing going to come out, but B0, ladies and gentlemen, the Terminator of Champion Elo in silver. Somebody get this man a contract. B0 able to get both kills against our two champ players. Not even a single round for the champs. One on Oregon. The silver players are going to take it two to one. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Turn on those notifications as I do post daily on the channel. Like the video. Follow Brios and Chris with the links down below in the description. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Check out G Fuel with the link down below in the description. Use code SHOCK to get 30% off your G Fuel. And have a great rest of your day.